the people of FCT felt that based on the geograph geographical and constitutional structure of this great country, they have been grossly marginalized. Marginalized in the sense that the representation of the people of FCT is minimal compared to other uh, states in the Federation. So it is not enough. Though there is a senator who is a minority of having a principal position currently from the FCT and who will want to, based on his experience, go back to the Senate to see if he can get a more better principal position. But I don't think that is enough for the people of the FCT. It is not supposed to be about an individual. It is supposed to be about the collective benefit of the people of FCT. If the FCT have a principal officer and still did not have adequate space, political space, that will accommodate most of their political interests, I don't think to me it is a collective uh, benefit to the people of FCT. What should be collectively beneficiary to the people of FCT as of today is how to use the 2023 election to negotiate or to renegotiate how better political position will come to FCT. Like the issue of uh, nominating FCT Indigen to be in the Federal Executive Council. That is because the Constitution is not clear. Where the Constitution says that FCC shall be treated as a state. Now, there is a, there, 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 there is that, that statement in the Constitution was not categorical. That was part of the reason why in the immediate constitutional review amendment, the constitutional amendment that was done, FCT pushed to make sure that at least they have a representative at the Federal Executive Council. The advantage of having a, a representative in the Federal Executive Council is that whoever is representing FCT at that level of the cabinet will be able to push for the interests of the people of FCT. So it's unfortunate that uh, the, that section of the bill never see the light of the day. But it is not over because there is still more constitutional amendment that will be coming up in the nearest future. So FCT needs to negotiate. What I mean negotiate is that the people who are benefiting from the current structure of FCT will not allow the status quo to be changed. So for FCT to be able to, to position themselves properly, they must negotiate with these people. It is politics. What happened in the National Assembly on Tuesday was politics at play. The truth is that the people who are benefiting from the system will continue to want to benefit from, from the system. But the people of FCT must make sure they see how to convince these people to make them be able to be represented. It is not asking for too much. Having a representative at the Federal Executive Council is not out of this world. It can be given, but it depends on... It's unfortunate that at a particular time, for 16 years, the FCT were loyal to a particular political party and they have a representative. That was the best chance for FCT to have negotiated the rep representation at the Federal Executive Council. Unfortunately, as it stands today, the three representatives from the FCT are from a political party that is in opposition to the party at the center. So it will be very, very difficult. But if the FCT can play their card very well come 2023, all they need to do is to negotiate their way towards that. And if they are able to do that, I'm telling you by the grace of God, the interests of the people of FCT will be represented. Having a mayoral status is 